Tests are underway to determine whether the product contains the Class B drug GHB, which goes by the street names Gre what goes by the street names Grievous Bodily Harm Fan Fantasy and GABA. What's up guys, Derek, moreplatesmoreaids.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about getting roofied by Dorian Yates. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I thought it was pretty fucking wild when I saw the uh, comment as well. And what I am referring to exactly is on my, they took Trent, got gyno, and now can't play soccer without bandaging their nipples video. Um, this is about a, basically teens getting on trend because in not that long ago, there was actually a pro hormone, pro hormone, why is that hard to say right now? Pro hormone precursors to literal trend balloon circulating in the uh, supplement industry. People were selling it in supplement stores. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if it's still sold in some places because you still have companies selling precursors to nandrolone, precursors to testosterone, precursors to literal dihydroboldenone over the counter too, to whoever wants to buy it. So in the comment section, I saw something that made me fucking laugh. And it was by this guy, Lachlan Smith. Used to love the Dorian Yates GH Blast when I was a teenager until it mysteriously disappeared from shelves. Shit used to knock you the fuck out. <laughs> Looked it up years later and found out it had actual GHB in it. Too long didn't read, got roofied by <laughs> Dorian Yates as a teenage boy and loved every second of it. Ah, uh, so this made me laugh. Um, comment section, what's GHB? Rohypnol, AKA date rape drug. Gamma hydroxybutyrate, Google it. So basically, if you don't know, getting roofied is like, as far as I recall, it is referring actually to Rohypnol, but it also has had this like universal application for kind of like, if you had GHB slipped into your drink too, cause that could knock you the fuck out as well with pretty like a pretty benign amount that is like essentially unnoticeable to the uh, you know person in question who's getting it slipped into their drink. So, you know, the guy's obviously just like fucking making a, like a joke about it. You know, if it's a tasteful joke or not, like, you know, I guess you'd be the judge made me laugh, but anyway, Best part of it was the sneaky marketing. Calling your product growth hormone blast and filling it with GHB is just chef's kiss. Oh, the alcohol substitute Derek talked about. Is that it? No, I'm talking about, that was a Fenibut or Fenibut, however the fuck you wanna say it. It's a salt suspended in something. Not sure you drink it. It's not tasty at all. Dude, the salty taste, I've had GHB before as like a, I wanted to see if it could replace alcohol like to actually be a way to maintain like not fuck up your gains but still like go out and party and like get drunk but without actually like fucking up your motor skills and like making you a sloppy mess basically as well as completely ruining your uh you know progress in a fat loss and or a muscle building aspect for that night and you know potentially for a little bit longer than that too, you know, potentially days after. I'm sure you've had, you know, those days of drinking where it feels like it takes a fucking week just to get back to where you were gym progress wise and like not, you know, be like a little bit in a deficit of your like strength numbers and shit. And then before you know it, you know, you're out again. And it's like, oh, you know. So finding a substitute was, uh, you know, something I was looking at, you know, probably like as far as, I don't know, like uh, my late teen years, early 20s, this is like something that I had tried and I definitely remember that salty taste, fucking brutal. If you haven't seen my video on, I passed out on a G, on a, <laughs> I passed out on a date on GHB. You can check that out and I talk about when I went to sushi with some chick and like pretty much uh, g hold in front of her. Um, let's see, unless you only take a small amount that you get kind of high, but it's very hard to dose correctly, LOL, so easy to G yourself out, I agree. Bodybuilders used to use it to fall asleep fast and it supposedly instantly puts you into REM sleep. So yeah, bodybuilders did, you know, use this for the purported GH boosting properties and as a, you know, sleep aid because it was marketed as such, uh, potentially in products like this. So when I Googled it, Dorian Yates GH Blast Supplement, I found the, has an expiry date of, is this 2017 or 2011? I'm assuming 2017. Um, so it's fucking pretty new actually. How old is this? So it has a proprietary blend, which is not, uh, you know, too good. The thing that I noticed actually, which was, you know, the most problematic for me other than the potential GHP. First of all, the prop blend, you have no idea how much of each of this is in here. You just know it's in descending order of the highest concentration first, 
down to the lowest concentration, but you don't know how much is comprising the 7,000 milligrams. You just know this in totality is 7,000 milligrams. Like this could be fucking 6,999 and everything else is one. Like you, well not, not actually, but like 6,900 and whatever. But like this Fenibit being, or Fenibut, whatever you want to call it, at the top with a 7,000 milligram total dose, like that is potentially a fucking hectic dose. And Fenibut, something that I really hated that companies did and I was shocked that they would do is include Fenibut in a daily supplement, like something you would take on a daily basis. Like this is a supplement you can get very, very, very bad withdrawals from like a fucking intense drug withdrawals to the point that it could like actually fuck up your life. And this is why the FDA kind of cracked down on it fairly recently. But prior to that, you had companies like really big mainstream companies putting it in their sleep formula. It's like actually within the past like like year or so, this is not like long ago, like GH Blast is probably like, you know, fucking decades old at this point or whatever. But like literally within, you know, like literally in 2020, or maybe 2019 at the latest, big companies had Fenibut in a daily product in the grams, which is just fucked up to me, like crazy. That's That kind of shit will knock you out like a motherfucker, but you develop very bad tolerance buildup. You get really bad withdrawals from it if you are an individual who is susceptible to that sort of thing. Um, you know, some individuals, you know, are more tolerant to that kind of thing. But anyways, like that's not an ingredient to fuck with on a daily basis. And then Gamarax, whatever this is, supposedly this is the thing that was speculated to be GHB. This is an article. 2014, bodybuilding product may contain date rape drug. Bodybuilding product has been stripped from New Zealand's shelves over suspicions it may contain a party drug used for date rape. The manufacturer of Dorian Yates GH Blast, which sold online for 100, 109 New Zealand dollars, whatever that is, I don't know what the currency is called, has withdrawn its product from New Zealand. Ministry of Primary Industries investigated after the Dominion Post tipped off by a con concerned consumer made inquiries. Tests are underway to determine whether the product contains the Class B drug GHP, which goes by the street names, Gre what? Goes by the street names Grievous Bodily Harm fan <laughs> Fantasy and GABA. What the fuck? And Grievous Bodily Harm. Uh, MPI said it had contacted the Australian supplier and all stock had since been withdrawn here. Ministry said last night it was unable to confirm final test results from the Institute of Environmental Science and Research, illicit performance, and image enhancing drugs are allegedly being traded at some of the country's leading gyms. A source who no longer sells GH Blast said that his industry self-regulated and usually did it well. Um, let's see. Source said the use of prop blends in products were ingredient are trademarked under an umbrella name to protect manufacturing secrets was problematic as some countries did not require disclosure of the content. Let's see, ESR was lowered to the product in August. Um, it's possible it contained GHB because of Gamarex. ESR identified this as GHB after Australia listed Gamarex and some of its products describing it as containing gamma amino butyric acid. So as you know, you should probably know what this is. It's like a more, uh, like we're literally talking about normal GABA, not GHB here. But obviously the word sounds pretty intense. Um, so anyways, former champion bodybuilder Justin Reese was jailed for dealing GHB and now despite going clean, suffers from health problems. He was warned that many bodybuilding products are risky. Blah, blah, Okay, so manufacturer of GH Blast has not commented. So Dorian Yates had nothing to say about it, so. Let's see what you're supposed to do. Begin, whoa, what the fuck? Begin your trip by mixing just one seven, not not serving, seven. One scoop into six to eight ounces of cold water before bedtime for relief of occasional sleeplessness. If you can handle the potency, move to the competition use instructions. <laughs> Next time use GH Blast. Do not take more than two servings every 24 hours. Do not consume with alcohol. This product does not contain GHB or growth hormone. It's funny how they fucking specify that on the label. Is this like an update? This product does not contain GHB because it's like, that's a disclaimer you need on all your sleep formulas, right? Um, yeah, okay. So that is, uh, this is apparently what it used to look like. Maybe it's still uh, around, but um, yeah, that's a pretty fucking crazy prop blend, whatever. Uh, like the Fenibut at this, like I, this could be easily like a three gram dose for all we know. That would fuck you up for sure. If you were driving and you took this, you'd literally like, 
you could pass out of the wheel like that easily. It's like that intense. Damarex, no idea what that is, but if it ended up being GHB, that's fucking wild. And this comment definitely made me laugh. You know, it's crazy what has been uh, around in the supplement industry as of like relatively recent. But, um, you know, it's becoming a bit more clean, to be honest, almost to the point where the scrutiny is a little bit over the top in some cases, in some aspects. I'm not in full agreement with some of the ingredients being banned, like N-acetyl cysteine. I'm sure you can share my uh, dismay in the fucking censorship of that ingredient, essentially. I ended up buying 20 bottles myself when I fucking found out about it. Um, but yeah, you know, this is, uh, I thought it was fucking funny. I thought it was worth making a video, kind of a nostalgic throwback, perhaps, for some of the uh, older guys on the channel who had a chance to uh, check out some of these products back in, uh, Back in the day, let's see, ukmuscle.co.uk. Um, this is 2015. Wow, this is fucking recent. GHB, let's see what it says. Um, GHB prop blend, 7,000 milligrams. I bought a tub for my mate, old school trainer. He used to use GHB when it wasn't used for date rape. He had two scoops the first night he had it and slept through his alarms. It was hours late for work, lol. Wow, this is like 2015, dude. So I don't know how recent this product actually was out. I thought it was gonna be like, I honestly thought this was gonna be like a product in like early 2000s or like late 90s or something. So it's fucking crazy if that's 2015, but let me know if you have any experience with uh, Dorian Yates GH Blast, how it was, if you know anything about this or you have any other funny stories about, um, or just like interesting ingredients that were in products back in the day that you can't really get anymore. Um, all that kind of stuff I find really interesting too. So I'll dig through the comments and check some of them out. And it helps the algorithm, obviously, so it's much appreciated. Like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell if you haven't. Um, apparently, you need to do that too on top of subscribing. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below my TRT clinic, all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home, a recommended lab tests and diagnostics. Stay on top of your health, recommended diet model for gaining muscle um, and sports performance. Um, Gorilla Mind, Nootropic Formulas, Gorilla Mode, Pre-Workout Formulas, I design myself from scratch. And anything else I'm associated with, it is all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.